Hi there. Today we're going to talk about geometric solids. Lesson 67. There's a little vocabulary that we have to have. Um, geometric solids are solids that take up space. Something that you could actually fill up with something. Um, there's a whole lot of different kinds of solids. Uh, not all of them are rectangular. As we see here, this is a sphere like the Earth. A cone has a round bottom but a pointed top. We have cylinders, have round base. This is a base, this is a base, and it has a round base, a round top, and then the sides that go straight up. This is the height, or I should say this is the height from middle to middle. Okay, and then of course you have your base there. You have cubes, and that would be the base here. They have a triangular prism, and I colored it two different colors because I wanted to point out something. Your base is actually this blue end right here, and your height is going to be this rectangular. This is actually a triangular, or it's a triangular prism. This is actually the base, and it's a triangle shape, and then the height is actually going to be the rectangular sides. Oh, there's three rectangular sides and a triangular bottom. Okay. And of course, pyramid. This pyramid happens to have a rectangular base, but it has triangular sides. It would have four triangular sides. Okay. Not too bad. I'm sure you're kind of aware of these already. Now, we have some kind of related vocabulary that's kind of necessary for understanding uh, geometric shapes. Um, get your pencil ready because there's a little bit to write here. We have polyhedrons. Polyhedrons have all flat surfaces, cubes, prisms, pyramids. Non-polyhedrons have some flat sides, and they have some sides that are rounded. For example, cones, spheres, and cylinders. Pretty good chance that you'll experience this on a quiz. You'll have to name some. Now, Parts of polyhedrons, they have faces, that's the flat surfaces. Um, they have edges where faces meet, that's an intersecting. They have vertices when three or more edges meet together. Um, you might think of them as a corner. Oftentimes we'll be given a geometric shape and then we'll be asked to count the number of faces, edges, and vertices. If you don't actually have a shape to hold in your hand, you have to kind of imagine what it looks like in your mind. Now, one of the things that um, I like to see is drawings of different shapes. And then looking at their, their, whether or not they're a polyhedron, yes or no, how many faces do they have, how many edges do they have, and how many vertices do they have. Now, a sphere is not a polyhedron because it doesn't have a flat face, it doesn't have a flat surface. It is round. You can find the volume of a polyhedron, or excuse me, of a sphere. You can find the surface area of a sphere, but it's all having to do with using pi, and so it's not, as, it's not a flat rate type of thing. If you look at a cylinder, it has a base, and it has height, but it's one of those non-polyhedrons because it has sides that are rounded. Okay, here we have a cone. It has height, it has a base, but it is rounded, so it is a non-polyhedron. Okay, this is a cube, or you could even call it a rectangular prism. It does have height, length, width. It has faces. Right here, these would be vertices. Okay, so you could label those vertices. Back here, you can't see it, but I've drawn so they're like see-through. There's more vertices. So how many vertices do we have? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight vertices. Edges. Edges are when two, basically I would say when two planes come together. So 
So all of these are edges. Everything I'm marking in blue are edges. So you have one, two, three, four, and then you have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So when it comes to edges, this one has twelve. How many faces? Well, it's pretty easy on a cube to know how many faces because a cube has six surfaces. So there are virtually, I mean, you can go ahead and count them. One, two, three, four, five, and then the bottom makes six. Six faces. Okay? All right. Going down, we have another another this is a triangular pyramid it is a polyhedron because there's no rounded it's all flat all of these faces are flat here's your base right here and it's in the shape of a triangle it's a triangular pyramid okay so you have one two three four faces so yes, we'll start like we did with the other one as far as vertices. You have a vertice here, a vertice here, a vertice here, and a vertice here. So you actually have four vertices. Okay. Edges, you have you have an edge here, edge here, edge here. That's three, four, five, six. So we have six edges. Okay, and then faces, we have the front face, which is hard for us to s imagine. You have the back two faces, so that's three, and then you have the bottom, so that's four. So you got four faces. Okay, now there's three more here. I would love to see you figure those out for yourself. I think that having this exercise in your head is a really, really good thing. It's a good thing to be able to do it. Uh, just note, for importance, here's your base on this particular one. Okay, this would be your base. And for this one, you're looking at this as a base. And for this one, this as a base. Hopefully, that'll help you. I'd like to see you go through and um, actually label how many vertices, how many edges, how many faces. Now, um, there's another exercise that I'd like to see us do. Um, when it comes to uh, polyhedrons and that is to be able to mentally spin a shape around a line of symmetry and create a new shape. So if you hook a square like this, put a line of symmetry down the middle and then mentally spin it around. Spin it, spin it, spin it. This is going to be the center Spinning it around implies that it is going to have a circular top. Okay, so you're spinning and you're spinning. And here's your circle and that's your center. And you're spinning it around this line of symmetry. And you're spinning and you're spinning. And you are creating a cylinder. Okay, here's another one. You're going to spin that around a line of symmetry. The top's going to be a point. It's not going to be open like this one was as far as you're not going to be creating a circle. But look at this bottom. A vertice could be like this. Not really a vertice, but and there's your edge of your spin. And you're going to spin it around and around and around. So what's that bottom going to turn out to be like? Hmm. And of course, this last one, oh my gosh, I, I would think you could probably figure that one out on your own. These two, these are your challenge problems for this particular lesson. I want you to draw what they would look like once they've been spun. I helped you with the top one. Now it's your job to figure out the other two. I hope this was helpful. Have a super day and I'll talk to you later.